All right, guys, we got the DTS pulled back into the shop today. Actually, it was just in the shop a couple days ago because I replaced the headlight bulbs. This car has Xenon HID headlights, and they are a serious pain to replace. Requires removing the whole front bumper. The way that the front bumper is held on to the fender, currently it's held on by zip ties, and uh, they actually hold it pretty good. The only problem is we were already having some fitment issues here on this side, so it's kind of hard to get it perfect with the zip ties. As you can see, there's quite a gap. Even if we got this as tight as possible, there would still be a gap here, but now there is a very big gap. As you can see, compared to this side, it's completely tight. So that's something I'm going to work on and there's going to be a whole video on the whole headlight things and everything I'm trying to get my footage together. There will be a video on all that very soon But I wanted to make this one to kind of keep you guys updated on what's going on with the reason why it's losing coolant so you guys know I posted a video not long ago about how this car overheated again it ended up it was like four quarts low on antifreeze I added it the car has been running fine I let it go for like a week or two everything seemed normal and I checked it again and I ended up adding three more quarts so I'm like there's something wrong so after doing a little bit of investigating suddenly I realized you look over here this is where the water pump is located there's a little puddle of antifreeze right in there it was a lot bigger than that some of it's evaporated off since but there was a big puddle of it there and actually I had the car running at the time it was starting to steam and you can smell it burning off right here right around the water pump so I don't know what is going on here I don't think like this hose is leaking or anything the upper hose I don't know if it's the water pump itself that's leaking but that's what we're gonna find out today I'm gonna pull off this little shroud here that goes around the belt for the water pump and stuff and then maybe we can take a closer look at everything down in here see if there's a hose leaking or if the water pump itself is leaking All right, taking the shroud off helped a little bit with visibility. I can see more of this stuff now. Water pump's down in there, and maybe it's not quite as easy of a replacement as I originally thought it would be. This is like the uh, inlet housing and the thermostat housing in here, I think. That's an easier thing to take off if I have to, but the only thing I can figure is maybe there's a leak here on the upper hose or something. One of these hoses here that's kind of spraying around and it's leaking onto here. So I cleaned it up really good. I'm gonna start the car and let it run and see if I see anything happen over here. A few moments later. Alright guys, well the car is pretty much warmed up now. And hopefully you can see it on camera, but there's definitely some steam coming out of there. And I can smell it. I tried everything possible to get a view of the bottom of the water pump on camera. And you can't see it, but I am able to see it with this little mirror. On the bottom of the water pump, it's like all around the bottom bolt. There's this weird looking goop. Really weird looking yellowy, nasty stuff. And it looks like that's where it's leaking from. I don't know what that nasty goop is, but I would assume it's because the water pump itself is actually leaking. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the plastic shroud back in and we're going to take the car out for a spin, come back to see if anything has changed there. Just cruising around right now, the temp seems perfectly normal. Everything seems fine. I want to get it nice and warmed up and then pull it back into the shop and see. Alright, back in the shop. Still don't see anything collecting on top, which is really odd. A few inches later. I don't know about this thing anymore. <laughs> Forgot why I left the video off, but I've done some more investigating and trying to figure out exactly where the leak is coming from. I'm pretty positive at this point it has something to do with the water pump because I don't see anything coming out of any of the other hoses. It would make more sense if one of the hoses were leaking because there was actually some pooling on top of like the thermostat housing there that the upper radiator hose goes into. I was hoping that the upper radiator hose was leaking. Maybe it is a little bit when the car really gets under pressure and really gets warmed up and that's why it pooled on top, but it looks like there's definitely something going on underneath. Let me know what you guys think down below. I definitely got to do something about that this week, but thankfully I'll be able to release this update in time that I can get some more input from you guys online. Stuff like this, I like to get as much input from other people I can, whether it's you guys online down in the comments section on YouTube, or whether it's people I talk to in person and I ask them about it and show them some pictures or something. It always helps out a ton to get some other opinions. So let me know if any of you guys have any ideas of what that could be down in the comments. I think we're going to finish up this quick little update by doing an oil change on this thing. It's definitely overdue. I'm going to drive it over to the shop, throw it on ramps. I'll do a little montage, have some fun, change some oil, and then we'll wrap up this video. Let's go get this oil change done.
All right, we got a nice oil change completed and the perfect day for it because it actually got up to, I believe 45 or in the late 40s, I think it got up to this afternoon. Finally, some of this white stuff is starting to melt. Some of the roads are pretty dry. These back roads aren't as dry, but the main roads are pretty dry. So I actually took my car up to the car wash and got it cleaned up and it looks pretty dang awesome right now. I'm thankful for even these little bursts of heat right now. Hopefully it stays this way for a little bit longer. At least we got the oil change done on the DTS today. That was one of the things on my list that I wanted to attend to. And as you guys know, the headlights are done, the new bulbs are in, and I will be getting my footage together and putting that video out within the next couple days. But now the next project is to figure out this whole leak. It looks like it could be water pump related. I want to be 100% sure before I start taking things apart, but something's going to be happening with that very, very soon. It's got to get done. So you guys will be seeing a video on that very soon. Had some stuff come up this week that kind of delayed me a little bit i was really hoping to get a head start on all these projects and all this maintenance that i wanted to do so i'm trying to catch up now and we're making some good videos now so as always smash the subscribe button if you haven't already because there's going to be a lot more cool stuff coming it's funny because the ptgt now is running perfectly fine it has no issues i don't have anything in particular right now i want to get done there are a few little things that i want to finish up before we you know start spending some money and doing some bigger mods later on which you know we'll talk more about that in another video actually i might do a whole video very soon on what are my goals for the PTGT because it's good to set goals and try to achieve them. I know it's been helping me a lot lately just to think about, you know, what's my goal for this? What's my goal for the next whatever, you know, whether it's a chunk of time or for a project or whatever. So I think I'm going to make a whole video on that talking about the PTGT. For those of you guys that are here for the PT Cruiser content, we are going to be talking about her in a video very soon again. And like I said before, we're still going to be working on another car that hasn't really been on this channel before. Going to be doing some general maintenance and you guys will see that very soon as well. But it looks like the DTS, which some of you guys have come here specifically for and have subscribed and have stayed to see content on this. It's going to be in some videos very soon because we got got some issues. <laughs> Hopefully everything works out okay and it's not a big deal. So again, be sure and hit that subscribe button. If you have not already, be sure and smash the thumbs up button if you are hyped to see some more stuff on the DTS. I'm kind of excited to make some videos on it again. I missed the head gasket series, even though that was a rotten job. I know it was pretty stressful. We had a lot of fun hanging out in the shop with Bri and stuff and I missed making videos with this car. So I'm glad it could kind of be in a video again. But again, guys, thanks for watching this quick little update video. You guys rock. God bless and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.